against the Nuggets. Malika Andrews and Jalen Rose with more on Game 1. Welcome to our Los Angeles studio. Thank you so much. I've got to say, I'm Malika Andrews. This is Jalen Rose. My heart is still pounding Absolutely. after the end of that game. So let's start there, Jalen. Okay. The late game execution. Because John ja Morant goes up for that layup. Jordan Poole gets the rebound. And both you and I were looking at the TV saying, where's the foul? What stood out to you there? And normally a play that John ja Morant may finish on that right. layup. But once you miss it, you have to foul if you're Memphis. I know you're thinking Jordan Poole's a great free throw shooter. I know you're thinking Steph Curry's a great free throw shooter. Even Klay Thompson. But it makes it a one possession game. And coincidentally, when they fouled Klay, he went to the line and actually missed. So it was the youth late in particular. And also, keeping Bain quiet. Mm. He only had nine points. Coming into this series, he was their leading scorer right. coming out of the first series. And John Morant told me that he thought Desmond Bain was their best player in that previous series. But let's back up a little bit because a whole lot happened in this game. We have yeah. the Draymond Green flagrant mm -hmm. two and ejection. We see Steph Curry pick up a fifth foul late. They challenged that call. It was not overturned. What did you learn from this first game? The resilience in the championship DNA that Steph Curry talked about not only plays out late in basketball games and how you execute, but it allows Jordan Poole to flourish as well. And so now all of a sudden, if you Memphis, you waste a great opportunity playing at home. Mm. Jaron Jackson Jr. was fantastic. Milton, Melton gave him great minutes off the bench, and so did Brandon Clark. That was their game for the taking, in particular when Draymond gets ejected. And lastly, if you're the refs, you cannot eject Draymond Green. You just can't do it. Like, he tried to hold him up yeah. from hitting the ground very hard. I just don't think that was an ejectable play. Well, there was that call, and then there was the jump ball at the end that both of us were jumping. I, I'm just going to give you the floor, But, but because, because here's the thing. That's a cop-out by the ref. Okay, late in the game, if you don't want to make the big call, you know what you do? You call a jump ball. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, we saw that that should have been Gold State Warriors ball, and this is what I told you. Don't act like that they don't officiate situations and officiate the score. They yep. do. It's a first quarter calls. They're fourth quarter calls. Block charge. There are a lot of different calls that are judgment calls. But that wasn't one of them. Mm. You know what I mean? I so for them mean. to overcome that, great defense late by Clay, great shot making late also, it was a total team victory. And Wiggins, what about his hustle? Tipping balls in, unsung hero of this game. Uh, he was on the floor. He was diving for balls. One last thing. We have the third quarter team in the Golden State Warriors versus the fourth quarter team in the Memphis Grizzlies. What do you want to see change there in their execution? So if you're the Memphis Grizzlies, right, it's easy to get a ball to Giants, tell him to take us home. But the problem is they've played with strength in numbers this entire year. They even had a great record without John in the game. Get Desmond Bain back on the ball sometime so he can get his offense going. You hope to get Dylan Brooks scoring as well. Here's what I know, Mr. Rose. This has the potential to be an excellent, yes. exciting, exhilarating series. Kevin O'Connor, back to you.